Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you another house that I built. Before I decided to make a Roblox channel, I built a smaller house that I want to tour and the reason why I want to tour it and film this now is because I eventually want to break it down and with the new update, there is a new bulldozing, I guess, new bulldozing option where you can delete an entire house and sell everything at once instead of having to just sell everything separately. So um, I'm going to be filming that video maybe after this video, but first I want to show you guys my small house that I have. I wanted to go for a smaller colorful home and I'm probably going to go with this color theme in a future video or like a future speed build but I really wanted to go for a smaller house because I don't know like a lot of my builds that I've had before this they were all two story and I like this house a lot but I really wanted to make one that's a little bit smaller than this this one's kind of like a one story family home for maybe a single parent and like two kids or maybe one kid because there's only one separate bedroom from the master so this is what my garage looks like i went for a blue house with a yellow accent yellow and white accents so in here i just have just like a bicycle my jeep and a motorcycle and back here i just wanted to add some like just random garage decor nothing too exciting um <laughs> i don't know i never decorate my garages just because i don't really know what to put in it um but over here we have a cute little planner with planter with do i say oh my gosh i just realized i said planner this entire time when i say planner i mean planter you know with like plants and dirt and stuff like that but this is what it looks like over here this is my little patio we have some hanging plants right here a cute little patio with some cute little um chairs oh my gosh how many times am i gonna say cute okay so if you notice in a lot of my homes i like to go for like this pink color or like just a pastel theme i'm really into like light colors right now as you can tell so this is the front living room a very small adorable cozy looking i went for gray walls a small tv this is what the fireplace looks like and some pink couches and then over here we have some photos of just random stuff um what i do when i search for photos is if I want a specific color, I will legit like put like for example this one. This one I searched white. Um, if you put the word aesthetic after you know the color that you're searching for, then you will be able to find a bunch of like aesthetic pictures. So for example, let's try it right here. So if I wanted to search for a white aesthetic photo, you'll get all these different kind of like um, really cool photos that you can put if you wanted to do the same for like yellow aesthetic so yellow oh well I don't even know how to spell yellow aesthetic then you would get a bunch of these really cute photos as well so just make sure to put the word aesthetic after what you're looking for and this is kind of where you can find all of those tumblr ish photos Ooh, that's really cute okay well I'm gonna get distracted here but anyways this is what this area looks like and over here we have a little bookshelf and I added in some random photos to make it look like I like an actual family home with kids I just took a bunch of screenshots of my Roblox friends and this is me up here when I had blue hair and I made my own little decals so that this looks like an actual family home with um, a mom and kids. So over here in this area we have some more cute you know homey photos. This is a small bathroom. This is the front room bathroom I guess you would say. It's very small. This one's like a two by two and most bathrooms are usually small anyways so this one's pretty basic. So that is what that one looks like. This door right here is just the door to the garage. Very simple. And then over here, if you go in this little area, I have a little desk area. I wasn't really sure where to put a desk and a computer. I was thinking of doing it in the front room over here by the window, but I don't know. And it probably would have looked too crowded, so I just added it over here in this little nook area. I think it's a really great spot to put a desk, so I just have that and then a simple photo and then in here this is the kids bedroom i wanted to go for something simple um i went with a gray theme at first i did like gray and pink accents but i wanted it to be like gender neutral i guess you can say so i went with grays and a lot of my roblox friends changed the pictures to random stuff so yeah over here we have a little desk we have a bunk bed 
some just kids drawings if you like search kids drawings in the photo or like the picture thing where you search for photos you can find a bunch of those we have a little dresser sitting area painting area some toys and an elephant rug okay so in the rest of this house my walls are pink because i love this color pink um, I feel like it's just super pretty and light and like not sad or gloomy looking. So over here we have this painting that says home sweet home. I think this painting is so adorable and I just love like the rustic vibe that it, you know, portrays. And then over here we have a little just table area. You know when you have those random areas in your hallways that you need to fill up because it's kind of like awkward? Well, I add a bunch of tables like this with phones and just random plants and decor and a photo above that. I notice I do that a lot in my um, home. So in this room right here, this is the master bedroom. I kind of wanted to go for another Palm Springs look. This is kind of inspired by my other room in my modern villa house that was an inspired build by Annex, by the way. Um, but this is just what this room looks like. I wanted to go for a more woodsy look. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this woodsy furniture, but I tried to go for something different this time. Um, and then over here, we just have the 1 billion plaque, which I thought was super nice of them to give out to all of their Bloxburg players. A little dresser, some nightstand, and like a book, some nightstand, a nightstand, and some books. I love this little lighting feature at the top. And then over here, I added some yellow photos. Um, and then over here, we have more photos and in a little vanity area where you can do your makeup and hair. And then also over here, you guys notice that I do this a lot in my rooms too. I like to add like hanging decor. And then this is what the master bathroom looks like. And it's pretty simple as well. Just basic, here's where the toilet is. I added a little divider right here to add some privacy and then a shower area, some tiled walls. It's pretty simple and then this window kind of just leads out to the backyard. Super, super cute. I love this room so much. And then over here we have the kitchen and I don't know what it is but this kitchen just looks super dark and I don't know if I like it like that so that's why I'm kind of deciding to delete this home just because I'm not really sure how I feel about the layout of it so I want to try something different with it but this is what the kitchen looks like pretty simple another thing that I do very often is I like to use this background wall and then I like to do a lot of like white cabinetry with white countertops and I've been wanting to try something different and go for like brown cabinets and like a traditional I don't know suburban home so let me know down below in the comments if you want to see something like that but I have a lot of just blush pink some pastel blue and like pastel yellow accents I love these colors so much as you can see we have a little center island with food on it and then I also have a little dining table area this area is kind of crowded and I think I'm starting to smell. You know when you're recording and you know you are starting to smell because everything's turning like a yellow color because of all like the the flies and the stench. It's kind of gross. So I'm just going to clean up myself. Okay, so moving on. This is the laundry room. And it's pretty small. I did a 3x3 three three for the laundry room. I like to do 3x3s three for the laundry room just to give it some space instead of being super crowded. So this is what the laundry room looks like. I used to buy like the most expensive um, washer and dryers, but I, you know, soon realized that um, every washer and dryer does the same exact thing. And I don't know, I feel like this doesn't have much use in Bloxburg, so I just go for the cheaper ones. No need to go for like the expensive ones. So this is like my little household keep up area <laughs> laundry room, I guess you would say. And then it's raining right now, but I'm going to show you guys the backyard. This is what the backyard looks like. I apologize if it's kind of dark, it's night out, and it's raining. I feel like this, just the nighttime in Bloxburg is super long. But over here, I added a little food area with a little barbecue pit that is the opposite direction and a little ice box so that whenever who's ever out here chilling, they can grab a drink if they wanted to. A little sitting area that I never finished. I was supposed to add some plants in there, but I didn't. And then over here, it's kind of like messed up. This house is kind of very messed up and I don't really like it. It's not really cohesive with a lot of things. So that is why I am deleting it. But that is pretty much it for this tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is the last time you guys will be seeing this house. Well, actually, this is the first and last time you guys will be seeing this house because I'm going to bulldoze it. So anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.